Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to zoom image in WordPress. So this is going to be a very easy one. We just need to install a plugin for this to work. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to your dashboard and you want to go to plugins. Now here you want to go to add a new. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to search for the following plugin that I'll be showing you. So that plugin is going to be WP Image Zoom. Now here, you just need to click on enter. And what you want to do is, is you want to install the WP Image Zoom here. Just click on install and wait for this to finish. But once it completes uh, installation, you just need to click on activate. And once it activates, we want to go to the WP Image Zoom section here. Now, what we want to do is we want to actually edit the settings for this one. So first, let's go to general settings. Now here, there's a lot of settings to play here. So we have the enable zoom in WooCommerce products. If you want to enable that, we also have the exchange the mail with main image on WooCommerce products. If you want to as well do that. So if you want to also enable the zoom on mobile devices, you can also enable this one. And as well, if you want to apply zoom on particular images, you could go ahead and go ahead and do that. But this is only for pro version. So if you have a pro for this specific feature, then you will have the, the settings available for you. So here, let's go to zoom settings now. So as you can see, this is the sample of what's going to look like. So it's going to be really zoomed in as you can see right now. So if you want to change this one, like for example, we want to have a square lens. So as you can see, when we zoom or go to the specific section, we'll have the square lens. Or if you have the circular lens, you can go ahead and use that. And we also have the null lens. So if we, uh, here, as you can see, when we go to a specific section, it's going to automatically zoom in into that section. But for example, we want to use this with zoom window so that we could really differentiate what we are actually zooming in. So as you can see, you could really see the details when you're actually zooming in, in here. So now next thing, since we got already got this one and want to use this with zoom with window, we want to change a few things here. Now, if you want to use a specific cursor for this one, like for example, we want to use the zoom cursor. So as you can see, when we go to that specific image section here, as you can see, there is the zoom cursor there. If you want to use a pointer, it's going to use a pointer, but let's just use the zoom icon here. So we also have the animation easing effect. So if we change this to five seconds, as you can see, there's a bit of difference there. So we also have the zoom level here, but unfortunately it is only available for the pro version of this specific plugin. So if you want to enable the pro version, go ahead and do that. So now next thing I want to do is we want to just uh, click on save changes. And once we save our changes, we are now ready to add this feature into our post or into your products. So let's just go to a post that we could actually change. For example, I have this post, this is a generic post that I automatically have here. So by default, I won't have the feature to actually zoom in into this image first. I have to change a bit or some things in here to make it enabled into my website. So here I have this image, it's really small at the moment, but yeah, the first thing is you want to click on the image itself and you'll have these styles at the right section. So what you want to do is you want to click on mid zoom. And when we click on that, the next thing you want to do is you want to click on update and you want to click on the preview button here. So when we go ahead and go to preview, you should be able to see the changes that we just made. So when we go ahead and hover over it, as you can see, this is now the zoom effect that we are looking for. And yeah, and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.